Friends, a user asked how to take this image and turn it into a keychain. Obviously, I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. Today, friends, we are going to start with Pixlr. We need to open the image that was shared. I have got it in my downloads and I'm using Pixlr. I'm going to create a brand new image. Here you can see the item. And let me show you how quickly we can get this ready for use. First, I've got it locked. I am going to duplicate it. So we simply click on the three dots and hit duplicate layer. I'm going to take this one now and I want to save it for later. So I'm going to simply hide it. That way I've got my original. Now I do have to switch back to the one above. Notice the blue line. That's how you know you've got it. I want to cut out all the gray and white. So I've just got the details. Friends, let's do this super quick. We're going to go to cut out. We want to choose magic cut out. And I'm going to cut out the white. I do not need it to be contiguous. And bang, that is all gone. Now I'm going to switch to the paintbrush. Make sure it's on remove adjust the size and shut off the softness. That way I can get rid of that really quickly. Now to make these details pop on the next step, we're gonna switch out to the drawing tool. We're gonna switch to fill and I'm going to fill with white. I have got contiguous shut off. So that way it'll fill everywhere. I'm gonna set my tolerance somewhere in the 50s. Let's try 56 and I want everywhere that was gray to all of a sudden be white. Just like that, it is easier to see the details in our cool design. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to duplicate it. Once again, this button right here, and I'm going to hide the one that was below. Now we can see those are both hidden. I'm gonna click back up here on the blue one and we wanna make a silhouette. Just trust me, I'll show you why in a minute. First, we're gonna pick the color. I'm gonna find a spot that is the deepest black that we have. Click here, and then we're gonna simply fill everything with that black color. I'm gonna bump this up to 60, just so I try and get it all in one shot. I did not, but if I zoom in, I can now click on these other spots, and because contiguous is shut off, it finds all of them in one click. If we zoom back out, we have now got our awesome silhouette. We've got the details. I can Hide this one quick so you can see the details one. And it's time to save each piece. I'm gonna save the details one first. Notice hidden and hidden. When we click save, we only get three saves per day. I'm gonna save as a JPEG because I get to keep these dimensions. And I'm gonna simply hit save as, and you can see here I've saved it as details and silhouette. I just did that step twice. I will do it one more time. This would be details two. That will be all of my saves for the day though. So you're just gonna have to trust me for how to do the other one. It's really this simple though. We just hide the one we were on, click on your silhouette and save that as a JPEG with the same measurements as well. I'm going to click back to home. That's how you save your project. It is saved now. And it's time to visit picksvg.com. We are going to upload those pictures. We are going to start with the details one. When you click open, it will take your image and it'll convert it to the SVG we need. You can look at the different edge ones. Whichever one you pick is fantastic. I like this one and I'm gonna simply hit download SVG. I'm gonna change this to say edge two. As you can see, I already did it once before. And then we also want a silhouette. So in a perfect world, you just click down here, do internal, and it gives you the silhouette, but it can't do that because of how fancy this design is. Not a problem though, friends, because remember we made our own silhouette. If we double click on that JPG, it comes in with the exact same measurements. We switch to internal and bingo, there's your design. I think this one is a little rough, so I'm gonna check internal too. That feels a little more crisp to me, so I'm gonna download that SVG. Same thing here where I call that silhouette one or abbreviated silhouette. I'm gonna call it silhouette two and hit save. Friends, we're on to my favorite part. We are in Tinkercad and we're gonna hit create new 3D design. I'm gonna start by naming it 
This is an infantry symbol, so I'm going to just leave that name right there. And we're going to hit import, choose a file. And I'm going to start with edge 2 and choose open. We want the art. This would be 800 millimeters. I'm going to cut it down to 70 millimeters. That's a size I appreciate more. Notice when you press enter, it scales to both. And remember that 70 because we're going to use it for both parts. It does take a moment, especially as our designs get more complex. But bingo, there is the epic design. How cool is that? When we click on this, we can pick the color we want. I'm going to change that to black. It also gives us fill mode options. If we go to silhouette, it makes the entire back, which is pretty cool. We don't want to use that this time, though. I am going to bump up the quality of it. And I'm going to switch back to the default. Now let's bring in our silhouette. Once again, we are going to choose import, choose file, grab that silhouette. Once again, art. And don't forget, we want to set this dimension to 70 and press enter and import it. This one comes in a lot faster. Notice because of those measurements we typed, the size matches absolutely perfect. If we do 1.5, that way it'll be a little bit below. We can choose whatever color we want, and bingo, your awesome keychain is created. Because of the way the design is created, you would already have a keychain hole. It is pretty much ready for 3D printing. If you don't want the white to peek through, let me show you this. If we click on this design and do Control D, and we do Outer Line, I'm going to set it to 0.25 and press Enter. Notice it was huge. Now it'll be small. Bump up the quality, change it to round, and bingo, you've got the white all the way around. A little piece here is still poking out. Let's change this instead of 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 and press Enter. And that worked like a champ. Now if you look closely there are parts that here that poke through. If you really want that fixed what I would do is go back to Pixlr and I would just cut off everything but these little tassels and then I would make them a separate SVG and then on this single part you would be able to add the outer line for that. Friends at this time I'm going to send it to the P1S. Of course I want to print this quickly so here's what I'm going to do. Put the work plane on top click on the details, hit D for drop. That way it's only going to print white and then it's going to print the cool black details. I'm going to change this to 0.5 and press enter. All right, everybody, let's get this shipped to the Bamboo Labs printer. I am going to start by clicking on the details, choosing export, and I'm going to choose the selected shape as an STL. I'm going to put it in my downloads and call it infantry top. Then I'm going to hide that shape. Grab just the white shapes. Notice they are still separate. I do not have to group them. And then I'm going to export those as an STL as well. I'll call this Infantry Base and hit save. Of course, now we can bounce to Bamboo Lab Studio, create a brand new project. Let's add those files. It is really this easy. Select them both. Click open. Tell it, yes, we do want single object, multiple parts. We can then switch to the object mode and notice this was the base. And we've got the base and the top. So we simply want the top to be our second color. I'm going to make that black. If we zoom in, we can take a look. It's going to turn out pretty sweet. You can also see there is a prime tower enabled. I don't need that because of the way I've got separate layers. So I'm going to shut it off and speed up the print. With that done, friends, we're going to use a 0.2 standard profile and simply hit slice plate and then print plate. Notice it's only going to take about 20 minutes and we can send it to the 3D printer. Of course, once it arrives, notice it'll start downloading. Once it completes, we can hit play and monitor the process from afar. And after a bit more than 20 minutes, check it out. We have got a wicked cool keychain. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks again to Paul for the question. It absolutely makes my day when I'm able to help users with Tinkercad problems. I do also want to share something special with you.
I often mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, and I added something new today. Check it out. Under Tinkercad Essentials, we have got the SVG tips and tricks. Right here, you've got a quick explanation of what an SVG is. If you scroll down here, you can find all my keychain videos. Then we'll find the light box videos. And finally, down at the bottom, you'll see my Tinkercad signs. Of course, friends, the goal of the page is just to help you track down the information you need just a little bit faster. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, you help so much when you take a moment to share a video, click like, or let somebody else know about the channel. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, of course, I do want to remind you about the sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.